Hello, Nigel Smallpiece here. Here in an occasional series, we bring you something that is quintessentially British. There's nothing quite British as an English village. We are here today in the ancient borough of Higham Ferris, and in particular, we are following the trail of the famous author H.E. Bates. Super, darling, super. Thank you. In the background is Bede House where H.E. Bates was born. Of course, he didn't live there, no, 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 no. But his mother, after attending a sewing meeting, was locked in late at night. Super, darling, super. We are now at the place where H.E. started his education. This was to set the pattern for the rest of his life. H.E. could have been Hyam Ferrer's answer to Tom Brown. Super! This is H.E. H.E.'s former senior school, which unfortunately burnt down the very year he left. What a coincidence. They are hoping to restore it to its former glory by the aid of a lottery grant. Good luck to them. Super. <laughs> Hello, this is where H.E. was sent by his mother to learn ballroom dancing in the 30s. He could have been Britain's Fred Astaire, how about that? Super uh, nice. Shall Are we? we? Yes. yes. This is the famous pear tree, where H.E. scrumped as a teenager and had his first serious encounter with the law. Super duper. And now we come to the most unusual placing of a blue plaque. The green dragon in the background gives some idea of the reason behind the placing. It's all about H.G. E. Bates and a barmaid. This is where El Fragante, if you know what that means, took place with a 40-year-old barmaid. Super! <laughs> and we now come to the final sighting of the historical plaque. Oh. I remember. I remember him well. He used to come and sit here with me and I gave him all the advice in the world. All sorts of matters. Money matters particularly. Oh, he was a wonderful chap. Of course, in those days, I was his bank manager. 